Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to CWR TV as we get ready for the main event triple threat match. And there you see Chris Iron with his buddy Mercury's bodyguard. And earlier tonight, you saw them interfere in uh, the cool guy in Jason Zero's match. And you have to think, Chris Iron wants to win this to get back in that title picture unsuccessfully. Unsuccessful in his last two attempts at uh, claiming the CWR championship. Both losses to the big guy Ryan Chambers, but the last one, you gotta admit, Chris Iron was in control. He had the match won before the fall and interfered, and on their behalf, assisted Ryan to the victory. And that's something we're still not completely sure of why they interfered in the match and causing uh, the cool guy to win after after they, we saw um, Big D. And, and Chambers falling victim to the Fallen at the end of the title tournament. There you see Chris Crossworthy, the second combatant in this match here for the number one contendership. You know, I just realized how lucky we are to be sitting here calling this match of three very talented individuals, Crossworthy, Iron, and now Woody the Clown. Don't let the look deceive you, ladies and gentlemen. Woody the Clown, probably one of the biggest fan favorites in all of CWR. He can get that crowd behind him there, and he's almost unstoppable. And a lot of his opponents will take him lightly, but that's something they definitely should not do as he goes for a hug on Chris Crossworthy, but Crossworthy pushing him off, and as does Mercury, the Clown just wants some love in, and he's going for iron for it. And Iron standing there, real awkward. And there, Chris Crossworthy capitalizes. One, two, only a two count. As Woody the Clown kicks out. And Chris Iron jumping on the opportunity to beat down the Clown. Woody the Clown trying to make friends at the start of this matchup. But obviously, that did not work in his favor. And I just want to point something out there. Did you see the acceleration by Chris Crossworthy as he did that clothesline in the middle of the ring? Probably one of the fastest guys in CWR as uh, both Chris's just launch Woody up in the air from that corner and now the knees to the back from Chris Iron. Both of these men working over Woody the Clown is crossworthy behind now with a choke submission hold. I would think Iron would want to break that up so Woody doesn't tap out. But Woody on the ropes, Iron possibly noticing the bad ring positioning. Now locking in a sleeper hold of his own. Both men wearing down Woody the Clown. Possibly just want to make it a one-on-one uh, -on -one match. They're possibly just looking to take out the one man and then just make this a one-on-one -on -one confrontation as a double suplex by Iron and Crossworthy. That was giant there, ladies and gentlemen. Sending the the deceivingly big. He's a I think he's six two, six three, something like that. <laughs> you saw that move right there, Crossworthy just Irish whipping Woody the Clown into Iron, and Iron with a clothesline that double the force and velocity. Such a powerful maneuver there on Woody the Clown. And now blatant foot choke holds the ref counting. There onto Woody the Clown. Woody has got to do something here. Both of these men basically it's batting practice for these two against Woody the Clown at this point in the match. Nice. Nice hangman neck breaker there. And Woody just getting picked right back up by Chris Crossworthy and a nice suplex from the nightmare. Now Iron going up to the second rope. He goes down and drops his elbow right at the one, two, and there we see it. It's about time. Crossworthy pulling Iron off the pin there, and both men arguing, saying both men thinking they were gonna win this match and Iron throwing a nice punch, but Crossworthy kicks back and a nice suplex there. I like the way he did that. He didn't fall over. Allowed him to get right back on the attack on Woody the Clown. He has up in a fireman carry maneuver. And nice Samoan drop. Going for the cover. One, two, only a two count is Chris Iron. Breaks it up and now attacking Chris Crossworthy there. Now you see the element of a triple threat match. Obviously, only one man can win, and now at this point, Iron and Crossworthy both realize that they're gonna have to take out both men in order to win this matchup. 
They did a good job though wearing out Woody the Clown. You see him not getting up very fast there. One, two, oh, and a nice slap from Woody the Clown in perfect positioning. You know, it's moves like that from Woody the Clown that make him a fan favorite, that make the people cheer for this man. Nice stomps to the back of the neck there. Right in the spine, right where the neck and shoulders meet, and right there, obviously, Crossworthy feel the pain, and I, I think Woody just threw Iron into Crossworthy, and Iron just tripped right over him. That was a nice maneuver there, kind of hitting both men in that nice leg, Larry. You, you, you see Woody like to do that maneuver, going for a cover there, but not big enough to put the nightmare away. Woody looks like he's getting a, a second wind here after being manhandled the entire match. Now it looks like he's going for a power bomb or something on Chris Crossworthy, but Crossworthy back body drops him over. Only a two count until Chris Crossworthy uh, breaks up the pin there, but you see that rear naked chokehold. He has that locked in, and, but here comes Woody the Clown and a nice leg drop. A leg drop takes them both out. Not only breaks the hole, but it's like damage upon both individuals. Woody the Clown saving the match. That's possibly the second time that we could have seen the end of the match here. And now the forearms in the corner from Woody to Chris Iron. Toss him in that corner now. Going for a flying body, cross body there. But knocks him over with a clothesline after he moves out of the way. But there you see it again, Chris Crossworthy breaking up the pin and allowing Woody some time so he can kick out. So we'll keep an eye on Iron Bodyguard Mercury on the outside of the ring. A nice Northern Light suplex with a bridge, but only only a two count as Iron breaks it up. It looked like Woody might have kicked out as well. That was a phenomenal move there by Chris Crossworthy. Oh, and a DD. That was a vicious DDT. One. Two, oh, but Woody the Clown in position again to break that up. But you saw on that DDT, Iron grabbing both of Crossworthy's hands so he could not brace his fall at all and dropped right on top of the dome as Crossworthy sent to the outside. Oh, there you see, just like I said, keep an eye on Mercury. The referee is in the ring. Mercury is on the outside taking out Crossworthy. And that is the, the extra variable that you have to think about when you face Chris Iron is that bodyguard Mercury. Any chance he gets, he's going to lay the beat down on the Iron's opponent. Right now, Iron is in complete control of this triple threat match. Crossworthy sliding, sliding Woody in. Only a two count, though. As he kicks out, needs to do a bigger maneuver. Crossworthy shoving Iron to the outside. Possibly looking to capitalize here, going for that crossover, hit the two perfect picture, perfect crossover, one, two, there you see Chris Iron break it up here, tossing Crossworthy to the outside, one, two, three, and Chris Iron stealing the victory from the nightmare Chris Crossworthy. This, this match was Crossworthy's match to win until Iron came in the ring and capitalized up off of the crossover and pinned Woody the Clown for the victory. And once again, Chris Iron is the number one contender for uh, the cool guys, the cool guy title. And you see Mercury, a choke slam on Woody the Clown. These guys are just bad dudes. We'll see you next time on EWR TV.